Alrighty guys, what up? Uh, Marcusman6 here, and I'm, today I'm going to be bringing you guys a uh, capture the flag tips and tricks to doing good and winning. Uh, I'm going to be throwing a lot of information at you in a short amount of time, so start paying attention right now. Alright, uh, you can see here on the map, the green flag represents your flag, and the red flag represents the opposing enemy's flag. Uh, this map right here is grid. You don't have to necessarily use the strategy on just grid but I just played a catch the flag game on there so I decided to pick that map you can use this strategy on any map you feel free to but uh... before I get into specific specifics uh... you need to be in a six man party and I mean it might take some time to get together but this strategy is for a six man party and obviously you know you always do better in parties anyway uh, and when you get into that six-man party, all six of you need to agree in who's the worst and who's the best and rank yourselves from one to six. And then that'll help, again, towards the strategy. Or You don't necessarily have to do that, but it helps. Uh, all right, first, the uh, defenders. Uh, the defenders are basically, you can call them campers or you can call them defenders. Uh, personally, when I do defend, I don't camp. I'm, you know, around but I'm near my flag and uh, always make sure one defender can be within one second of the flag like they will be able to see the flag within a second so that'll give them enough time to react if they hear the enemy the enemy has taken our flag they'll have enough time to react and get to the flag quickly uh, these guys their kill streaks should probably be uh, two really low ones that way they can provide support like uh, UAVs and counter UAVs and uh, you'll hear later that I tell everybody to run either a UAV or a counter UAV. You don't have to run both, but you have to run at least one. Because one UAV leads to the other guy getting a UAV, and the other guy getting a counter UAV, and then the other guy gets an attack helicopter, and killstreaks really, really help in capture the flag. Because uh, if you get a UAV, you know exactly where they are when you're trying to get your flag back. But uh, the attackers, I mean not the attackers, sorry, the defenders, they're always on defense. They... Like I said, they don't have to necessarily be campers, but they have to be around their flag. And the two people that I say that you put on the flag are your second best player and your fifth best, your fifth best player, uh, or your sixth best. You can you know change it up, but your second best and your fifth best or sixth need to be the uh, attackers because you need to have somebody who knows what they're doing up there. So one of the top three players, but uh, you know. You get the idea. Alright, moving on to the attackers. These are the probably the most important role in the game. Uh, they're the ones that they can either help stay back and defend a little bit, not be with the defenders, but they can play on the defensive side, or they can help escort the... Sorry about that. They can help escort the runners. Uh, that's really up to you guys. It depends on who you're playing, whether they're being aggressive or defensive or camping or tryharding or kill recording or whatever. Uh, again... They need to run either the UAV or the counter UAV, both if they please. And you know, it's up to them. Their last kill streak, uh, if they're good, put it up somewhere near a Blackbird or a Chopper Gunner or Dogs. If they're not so good, uh, then you need to put it down towards uh, attack helicopter or sentry gun. But like I said, their main role is to either help with capturing the flags or help with uh, defending. But you know, if you guys are just rolling nicely, they can be right in the middle of the map, getting those kills, getting those kill streaks, getting those UAVs up, and getting those counter UAVs up, and uh, taking down other kill streaks, ending the other team's kill streaks. You know, they do everything. Uh, the people that I would advise for that is probably three and four, or no, not three and four. Sorry, guys. Uh, three and six. Uh, you know, your worst player. Obviously, you know, if you have a six-man party, they can't be that bad. But uh, you know, it's just. You guys, you'll figure it out which players are best in which positions. Alright, now we've got the runners. Uh, like the page says, the runners just run. Uh, you need to have your most skilled player running, because running, you know, it sounds really easy, but you got to have a quick reaction time, you got to know where to lay your claymores if you decide to run back in that same path, you got to do a bunch of things. Uh, Marathon Pro really, really helps. So if somebody already has Marathon Pro and you guys are playing Capture the Flag uh, to get Marathon Pro, or you're just playing Capture the Flag because it's really fun, uh, they, it, 
if they have Marathon Pro, it's a big plus. They can get around the map quicker. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Lightweight. I normally have Hardline on or Scavenger. But, uh, you know, it's up to them. Uh, but you should probably have your first best person up there and along with your fourth best. Because, like I said, this position takes the most skill. And uh, if you put your first best and your fourth best up there, you guys will probably end up doing really good. Uh, hacker, if you don't have Marathon Pro, Hacker is also a good one because you'll know where the Claymores are. And uh, obviously you don't want to be dying by a Claymore because it takes uh, Capture the Flag as a uh, respawn. Or, what is it? What's that thing called? Uh, <sighs> Jesus, brain fart. I'm having a brain fart. Uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, respawn delay. There you go. But, uh, so that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I know I threw a bunch of stuff at you in no particular order, and I tried to do my best, and now my phone's ringing. So I've got to go, guys. If you want more down to death, it down to death. Oh my god, made you brain fart. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of in a hurry here. But if you want more in depth tips, or you want me to help you out a little bit more on Capture the Flag, or you want me to do another game type, uh, drop me a comment in the comment section, and I'll hit you guys up. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and peace.